Hey guys, Mechanic CG here and welcome back to another episode of Forza Motorsport. Today is episode number 35. If you guys do enjoy the video, make sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe, and let's get into the content. This video was streamed live on Twitch. Come watch us live with the link in the description. Alright, race number four, Maple Valley. Meow. Welcome back, Death. Welcome back. And no one catch your eyes. I know, but you. Welcome back to chat. <laughs> welcome back to the chat. Me. Let me. Let me satisfy. <laughs> yeah, normally whenever I say welcome back, whether it's like, it's normally a welcome back to chat. Because obviously, most times when people go in, they leave the stream open anyways. Oh my god. I mean, for a game that came out in 2005, the graphics are not too bad. Here we go. <sighs> Very nice. One and a half minutes per lap is pretty quick, actually. There we go. Not bad. Oh, lovely, the Demon Ritual song. Ba -da -ba. Ba -ba -da -ba -ba. I don't even know what the, the song is saying. What a tune. This slaps. This slaps so, so much. I don't know why. I'm really into like heavy bass songs at the moment. Like this is this is just bass amplified. This is just bass with more bass and a side of bass. Nice. 
Two more laps after this one. Uh, slow down. Get around there safely. Better to get around there safely and actually get around there than not at all. No, stop it. One more lap. Hey up. Hey up, lad. What up, Pandy? Welcome. Welcome to the shit show. How you been? There we go, not not bad. Just took a fat nap. Why are you taking a nap at fucking like 9, 10 pm? Seems a bit strange. Twenty eight oh wait. I love that this entire album is just surrounded by the number 2808. I got no clue what the number means, but that's the number of this album, apparently. Pretty cool. Whoa! That was a cool spin. That was a very cool spin. <laughs> Let's go. Nearly level 38. All right. Sunset Peninsula. We've got this race and then two more. And then I can lie down. That's what I call multitasking. Having a drink whilst driving at 330 kilometers an hour around a corner. Did one of those cars behind just completely die? Oh no, they're all crashing into each other. They've all had a massive crash. I wonder if we can catch up to them. And more than likely, probably not. Let 
we go, not bad. We get in there. Two hundred and twenty miles an hour. Two hundred and seventeen miles an hour, sorry. With my calculations in my head. I really want to catch up to see if these cars actually got involved in like a big ass collision. We are catching up though, so. Oh god, they are extremely close together there. Oh yeah, that's a massive, massive amount of damage on that Corvette there. And I assume this car in front also took a m massive brunt of it. Yeah, real lights are, oh. Oh yeah, it's completely smashed up. Go well. <laughs> I think as well that Corvette, the the second one that had a lot of damage, probably could have been in a very high up position if it didn't crash. I think it's got so much damage it just cannot drive. There you go. Not bad. I think we're going to get that replay for the thumbnail. We're now level 38. All transmission upgrades are 25% off. Woohoo! Alright, here we go. Silverstone. A very interesting track to be driving uh, muscle cars around. I'll do it though. There we go. Very nice. I still think it's weird because out of all of the Forza games, the first four don't have this layout. Sorry, no. The first four have this layout. They don't have the GP layout. Which is extremely weird because there's no stands at all on that section back there. Which I always assume there's going to be stands there. But, you know, they're wrong. I 
I think you're special. I told you many times. There we go. Ugh. Oh, shattered. I probably shouldn't have carried on recording. I probably should have stopped for this episode and then moved on and did it tomorrow. But it is what it is. But I said. told you too many times it's the little things that count which can make someone feel special Bum 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 Jesus Christ that section is so sketchy. If you don't go through it straight. If you care. You didn't hear a word that I said. Bum 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 Come on, we gotta get this. Ah, oh, that really hurts.
we go. Yo, Mitsubishi! Thank you so much for the follow. Legend, how are you today? Welcome. Your five check. wide but it's fine seven minutes and 21 not bad 36 run i'll take it okay here we go yeah if i could own a dream car r31 skyline would be the car i'll get to the next song this one's annoying porsche 918 spider oh you're the first person I know of that has said that that is a dream car. And I don't blame you. It's actually a really nice car. Was that Nero but Remix in the background? It was Nero but Remix. This is an entire, um, every single song that Nero has that's on Tidal. Because I use Tidal because it's got a higher audio quality. I hate this track with this car. Do, do you wanna? 2016 Ford GT. It's a nice car. Don't get me wrong. It's 2017, by the way. <laughs> it's the 2017 Ford GT, but um, I'm just not. <laughs> I don't know why, it doesn't... It doesn't uh... I don't know whether I'm just too old school and think that the old Ford GT is just better. So... Yeah. The car itself, the Ford GT, wasn't shipped until 2017. So it's classed as a 2017 model. Even though the car was announced and displayed and multiple, numerous concepts have been around for a couple of years, it w wasn't properly released until 20, like early 2017. Also, Spotify has really high audio quality. It doesn't. <laughs> That's the problem. A lot of people think that Spotify has high audio quality, but, um, Oh, shit. The thing is, Spotify's bitrate is, um, I think it's 384 kilobits a second, which is okay. That's not bad for modern day standards. But the problem is, is it compresses a lot of higher sounds. So when I listen to electronic music, I listen to a lot of songs with hi-hats and stuff like that. So you get a lot of distortion in the hi-hats, especially at... Um, Come on, get out of the grass. There you go. Especially at that lower bit rate. So, um, Tidal actually runs theirs at uh, 1,200, which is four times the quality of Spotify, um, or equal to CD quality, rather than MP3 quality. Um, and then also, Tidal has an option where you can crank it up to the max for select songs that are set up for it um, that you can listen to them at 8,000 kilobits a second which is equal to one and a half Twitch streams nearly like straight up just Twitch <laughs> so that's why I favour Tidal over Spotify just because it is higher quality yeah it's it's crazy but it basically means that the music sounds like how it should do. Because um, Spotify is has so many users, they can't turn it up to CD quality. They wouldn't be able to. And the funny thing is, I, 
I noticed it when when I first started using Tidal. I noticed the quality difference. But when I um with or without premium. Oh yeah, Spotify with premium is uh, 384 kilobits a second. Without premium, I think is 128. Do you wanna do? 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 Do you wanna? Oh shit! There we go. Oh yeah, no. Spotify is second place. <laughs> Spotify is second place to quality. <laughs> I'm not saying Spotify is shit. YouTube is AIDS. And so is SoundCloud. Even though SoundCloud is slightly better than Spotify. It's just such a mess and such a pain in the ass. Oh yeah, and they've added that SoundCloud Go thing now. So yeah, SoundCloud is shit. Yeah. The only reason I would use YouTube is if I had YouTube Premium. Because music is included in that. But the thing is, I'm not watching a lot of YouTube at the moment. So I don't see the point in having YouTube Premium. If I was to sit there and watch like hours and hours of YouTube a day, then yeah, I'd get YouTube Premium. But I'm watching more, um... Ah, fuck. I'm too busy reading chat. Pandy, this is your fault. <laughs> um, yeah. I'm focusing a lot on uh, Amazon Prime at the moment, watching uh, stuff like Chicago Med, so I'm going to focus on that and have my nice music. <laughs> uh, also, yeah, more than... Wow. I might not go straight to sleep, but I'm definitely lying down. So, if I'm... I might just game while lying down because my back is killing. Yeah, it is stupid. The thing is, YouTube likes to have these features, but <laughs> loving the Nero, it is brilliant. Nero is one of my favorite artists. It's just a shame that they haven't made any music for a long time now. It's been nearly seven years since they released their last album. But they have one in the works. They announced it about eight months ago that they've got one in the works, but that's in the works for eight months is quite a long time for music nowadays. Uh, but yeah, I'll probably end up lying down afterwards, after the stream. Uh, but yeah, YouTube seems to... These features that every other app has... They seem to remove them, but put them behind a paywall. So stuff like playing videos in the background, YouTube used to do it, and then they removed it and put a paywall behind it. Like at the end of the day, YouTube earns enough money from advertising anyways. They don't need a premium subscription. They quite easily, I'm gonna be honest here, YouTube could have, if they were to half the price of premium, make it £6 a month, right, instead of 12 and made it so that you could still watch background play on the free YouTube, but all it would do was remove ads and allow you to download videos. If they did that, by all means, people would start subscribing to YouTube Premium a little more. Because then, oh, so I'm paying to get rid of the ads. I'm not paying for a million different features. Like, it would be better.
the fact is, let's be let's be real, YouTube premium revenue for creators is negligible anyways. Like, if you're earning £100 off of YouTube advertising, your premium advertising is probably 1% of that. At the most. Like, out of all your ads, your premium revenue is about 1%. It's negligible. Get rid of it. I don't care about it. A lot of creators don't won't care about it. Just make it so that premium is cheaper and more accessible to people. Yeah, so you can do background play on PC now. And what's really cool as well, um, so Microsoft Edge has an additional feature. I don't know if Chrome does it. Because uh, what you can do, you click the little button and it allows you to... Bollocks. It doesn't allow you to bollocks. Uh, when you click on this little window button, what it normally does is it gives you a little player and you can keep scrolling through YouTube. But um, now on Microsoft Edge, it allows you to take a video player. As long as it's a video rendering of some form off of any website that has a video player, you can pin it to your windows. So no matter what application is open, it is stuck there and pinned there. So I can have be scrolling through on Edge on this display and then pin a video in the top corner there like a walkthrough or something, whatever. It's so useful. But again, that's something that YouTube will probably say to Microsoft, yo, we'll pay you 50 million to get rid of that feature and put it behind a paywall just for our website. They'll do it. <laughs> Even if I... Could see into your mind. Even if I try to see, never really know if you care. Is this the Dimension remix? I think it is. Microsoft's gonna be like, fuck off, we can buy you. <laughs> I don't know, who has more money, Microsoft or Google? That's a tough one. Elon Musk walks in. <laughs> I'll take your entire stock. <laughs> that is brilliant. And there we go. That's that race done. Fuck yeah. Result. 30 grand. Woohoo! What car do I get? Give me my car. Corvette C5R. Ooh, that's a nice car, actually. I'll take it. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out. Yeah.